You stepped in. Oh. Gosh darn it, Dan. I'm not good at beginnings, no, okay? No, you're not. <laughs> that's okay, because I still love you. Anyway, Aww. welcome back to Casual Respawn we're with your playing, pal Matt and Dan. We're playing the best game in the world. This is probably this is one of really my funny. favorite games. We've been playing this for maybe half an hour. Yeah. And I absolutely love this. This is fantastic. It reminds me of Doki Doki Literature Club. Yeah. But uh, not dark <laughs> and demonic. I, I got to watch that at some point. Oh. I'm going to play that through. It seems interesting. All right. Let's let's get back into this. No. You step. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. Wow. <laughs> it's all that KFC you've been eating. I, I want to eat so much. <laughs> KFC right now. <laughs> this is the most brilliant marketing campaign ever. <laughs> and it's done so well. You step into the massive cooking arena where the afternoon lesson will take place. Each student gets an oven and all the tools and ingredients they could need. Yes. Look at this place. It's magnificent. Finally, we'll get to show our stuff. I'm glad somebody else is now in this. <laughs> because that was just me doing dialogue after dialogue. The last episode was just all Dan. <laughs> Wait a second. Oh no. We have to show our stuff. What if I totally blow it? You're not going to blow anything, <clears throat> except maybe kisses to the crowd of fans you're going to earn with your signature adorable tiny food creations. Wow, that's just straightforward. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, students, to the cooking arena. For today's lesson, we'll be cooking with partners. Hurry up and pair. Oh, off. we gotta choose. Naturally, Miriam looks over at you. But. Unable to control yourself, you pounce on Colonel Sanders. Oh. That's rude. <laughs> hey, Colonel, would you like to tackle this lesson as a team? A team of two? That is, me and you, if that wasn't clear. Like I said, she is. I would have picked Miriam. I would have too. She's cute. Right? Want to be not my partner? Than my wife. I'm putting it out there. Because <laughs> she might watch these episodes. And it's True. the truth. <clears throat> anyway. Want to be my partner? <laughs> sure. Toe lick and goo. I'll prepare our station. Without you as a partner, Miriam is left standing all I'll alone. Two different later. students quickly take notice. <laughs> there are knives Aww, everywhere. Poor Miriam. I will stab you. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, new partner. Oh, God. Beep boop. Bzz, bzz. Oh, my. Two potential partners. I'm so... <laughs> Where did Mickey Mouse come from? <laughs> oh, so boy. Oh, boy. I'm sorry, gentlemen. I just don't know what to choose. It looks like you, you'll you have to pick for her. Friend duties can be a little awkward, but that's the price you pay for not being She's alone forever. She's getting a robot. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, look, it's a fryer. Who do you... <laughs> How could you it's ever a mess... Cooker. Anyway. He, he's kitchen appliances, right? man. Who do you want to ask to be Miriam's partner? Clank. Clank. <laughs> Sorry, Pop. But... Or Bob. That, <laughs> yeah. that, that is pretty good. That, that is really funny. Sorry, <laughs> Bob. I, but I think Miriam will be partnering with Clank today. It's okay. I already ate. I don't... Sure, Bob. Okay, sure. It's not entirely clear if Pop has any idea what the point of school even is at this juncture. <laughs> Blank is clearly excited to have some attention. He heats up and begins to roll back and forth. Oh, my God. Warp, warp, warp. Uh-oh. Hold on there, fella. We don't even know what the assignment is yet. Technically, Clank might not have a face, but there's something charming and earnest about him. <laughs> Tissue, I hardly know you. Ah! Clank shudders, <laughs> and a panel shakes loose. You get the impression that this is a sign of affection. Oh, God. Looks like you two will be fine. Aw, oh, see, everything That's, works oh, out. Okay. This is great. All right, I don't feel I so don't, bad yeah. now. <laughs> now it's time to focus on your own cooking classwork. All right, you two. For today's lesson, we're going to keep it simple. Pick a basic dish and divide up the steps. No chef is an island. It takes two flints to make a fire. You get the idea. Which dish should, do you suggest to your partner, Colonel Sanders? Steak tartare seems easy enough. It's fancy, but you don't even need to cook it. Using octopus will blow Colonel Sanders' mind. Your grandmother's mashed potatoes and gravy. Oh, it's gotta be the yes. mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. I've always been something <laughs> of a down home chef. I was thinking we could make something warm, inviting, comforting. Hi, hi, let's go, hello. <laughs> We're trying to get with Colonel Sanders. Yeah. Don't judge us. What? So far? He's beautiful. He picked us as a partner. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that's uh, that was my sister. <laughs> and that's my wife. She needs to know. She needs to know what's going this on. It's a brilliant game. <laughs> oh, you're right. <laughs> Maybe mashed Maybe potatoes. Mashed potatoes. I hope we're a girl. 
with I, his, his deep voice. Why? Because it's funny. I mean, yeah, that would be funny. <laughs> and gravy? I couldn't imagine one without the other. Oh, oh my god. Colonel Sanders <laughs> casts a coy look at you, causing your whole face to go beet red. Embarrassed, you quickly turn away. I'll, I'll go get the potatoes. No, please, let me. Picking perfect produce is a passion of mine. That's a real weird passion. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like things are getting pretty fresh around here. Does someone have a crush on Colonel Sam? Who doesn't? <laughs> We're just cooking partners. Mind your own business. Sanders heart is my business, and you better keep your fingers off my man man, not van van. <laughs> <laughs> Did somebody call for me? Ah. Oh my god. That music. <laughs> <laughs> This guy. <laughs> is it his That's my man. <laughs> yes, he is. He's Van. He's Van Van the Man Man. Colonel Sanders yeah. is your man. Okay. That's what our chef looks like. It is. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that. Okay. <laughs> you guys wear chef jackets like that? <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Oh, it's. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. oh. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even see that. I thought it was just tan. So if anyone doesn't know who's watching this, Brittany is legit a chef. <laughs> so this is even funnier for us for that reason. Right? You should. With the belt buckle. It's just like wearing an apron, <laughs> but without a shirt underneath. Yeah. That's what it looks like. <laughs> this music is intense. Can I get nicer looking co-workers? I like the hair, too. That's nice. <laughs> it's a nice touch with the star. No, no. No? No. 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 He's so sad. <laughs> I should be Colonel Sanders what? for Halloween. You should. That'd be <laughs> awesome. That's us. Toe looking goo. Toe looking goo is our we, character. We tried it. Instead of finger looking good, we were going to be toe looking good. <laughs> but it, there was one letter short, so we ended up toe looking goo. This has been an interesting <laughs> play for My wife's face right now is just like, what the hell am I looking at? <laughs> we're making oh, mashed potatoes and gravy. We're getting ready to make mashed potatoes with Colonel Sanders. No, we're literally making mashed potatoes. <laughs> I mean, there's, yeah, they'll still see this later. <laughs> I love you. Don't judge us too much. You're, you're the cutest. I don't. Yeah. yeah, that's true. <laughs> All right. Bye, gorgeous. <laughs> Ugh, no cheese fan, fan. Well, I'm coming here crushing toe looking goose dreams. You're supposed to be taking care of our classwork. That was the deal, remember? Colonel Sanders returns, armfuls of peeled potatoes. He tosses them into boiling water and turns his attention to you and your old friends. Oh, howdy there. A, a sleigh. <laughs> Man, are you working in a quartet instead of a duet now? I just realized she has cut out chicken drumsticks on her, that is awesome. on her stockings. I thought that. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. That's beautiful. <laughs> oh, actually, no. It looked like Toe Looking Goo was struggling, so we offered to give them a hand. You know how it is. These young amateur chefs need a lot of mentoring. This music is amazing. Right? <laughs> I was going to say, Colonel Sanders, maybe I could also teach you a thing or two about fancy food. Maybe one day you might be able to get up to my level. Ha! Huh, doubt it. Don't be so rude, Van Van. Personally, I have no doubts whatsoever about Colonel Sanders' ability to concoct creations worthy of admiration. After all, Wink, your fried chicken was quite spectacular. <laughs> I really want this to turn into a, a 2v2, like Pokemon style. That'd be awesome. <laughs> but Colonel, if you ask me, I might be, <laughs> make a better partner for you than this thing that has positioned itself at your station. <laughs> Don't you feel deep down that we cast completely complimentary shadows? We fit together, like a thigh and a drumstick. It just makes sense. Nothing about this makes any sense. But one thing it's clear. She's coming for the colonel. If you don't watch out. I'm watching out! A sleigh is really going <laughs> at you hard. You need to ask for some backup here before things get ugly. Turn to Colonel Sanders. <laughs> hunks to hunks. Uh, <laughs> in your time of need. Turn to Miriam. To your yeah, forever bestie. The, yeah, we gotta go with the forever bestie. I mean. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. We We're gotta... fighting over the colonel. He yeah. doesn't need to join. Yeah, exactly. You turn to Miriam, and as soon as you find her, she senses it and looks back. This girl, girl's friend in need radar is second to none. She immediately comes running over. <laughs> is somebody threatening my friend? I will 
destroy them! <laughs> I just probably crashed the bike. <laughs> I actually think that a sleigh and Van Van were just leaving. Leaving you in the dust vis-a-vis -vis my skills as a chef, perhaps. But stepping away from his competition, you're solely mistaken. Mariam, you're a loyal friend, but Tolik and Goo is my partner for today. Today's activity. Look at Mariam's face <laughs> right now. <laughs> uh, you look for Sprinkles in hopes that he might step in, but he's nowhere to be found. Darn those cute corgis and their short but sturdy stature. <laughs> you look down at your station and realize that in the tension of the moment, your hands have been cooking on autopilot. Oh, God. Distracted by the drama, you already crushed and boiled potatoes into a perfect creamy mashed texture with plenty of butter <laughs> and cream for flavor. <laughs> it's as your natural passion guided you through the steps you know so well while your attention is elsewhere. Oh, my God. All right. Well, we'll continue this one. <laughs> <Yes. episode. laughs> this is going to be my ringtone now. 